from the Trading Desk of Daily Forex, it's Christopher Lewis looking at the WTI crude oil market for the 20th. Uh, the WTI market's going to have an interesting session today because we have the federal interest rate decision, more importantly the statement, and the crude oil uh, inventory number as we are hovering $50. So I think the market's going to make a decision today. If the Federal Reserve sounds very dovish and we get a drawdown in crude oil inventory, that should send us higher. Maybe as high as maybe even $54, uh, given enough time. On the other hand, if we break down below 49 after all of that, then we're probably going to 46 and a half. I suspect we will get the move needed to start trading again. Over in the nat gas markets, we initially tried to rally, but now we are falling back. And as I record this, we're at about 311 Um just a tick or two above that. I think really at this point, what we're looking at is a retest of 310. If that holds, we get some type of bounce, then it's a buying opportunity. Uh, based upon this, and I'm going to use some artistic license here, but this inverted head and shoulders, we've got uh, roughly a uh, 25 to 35, depending on where you would consider the neckline, if you would consider it a zone or a line. That could send us up to about 335 or so over the course of the winter. That would make sense, um, but we need this area to hold. So on a supportive candle, a bounce of a link that I'd be a buyer. If we broke down from here, I think three gets tested again. If that gets broken, that's very negative. That becomes a false breakout. Um, at this point, though, it looks like short-term buyers are going to jump in. Now, longer term, it would take nothing short of a minor miracle to wipe out supply. So that's why I think that this bounce is... Although legitimate, um, I think it's probably going to have a certain amount of life um, lifeline to it, a um, certain length of time to it at best. Uh, nat gas producers are very keen to sell above $3. Uh, that gets them in the profit. So uh, plenty of supply above. I think it's going to be very choppy. Short-term buying only. I'd look for longer-term selling opportunities myself. Uh, but uh, clearly wouldn't do that here. So if there's any trade, it's to the upside for the short term.